Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on finding the surface area or volume of a similar solid when the scale factor of surface area or volume is given in ratio form. So we've got two solids A and B which are similar. And remember similar in mass means that the two things are the same shape. So everything's in the same proportion. For example, if you were to double the height then you're also doubling this width or diameter here. So the ratio of volumes of solids A and B is 8 to 27. If the surface area of A is 12 centimetres squared, determine the surface area of B. Now the only subtlety here is how we deal with this ratio of volumes here, 8 to 27. But to be honest, we could just treat these parts in the ratio of 8 and 27 as the actual volumes of A and B, because 8 parts of volume in A is equal to 27 parts of volume in B. So I like to have a little table as always to summarise the information we have. We've got the surface areas and we've got the volume. Now we don't actually know the volumes of A and B but we're told then the ratio to 8 to 27 so we can just treat those as the volumes to be honest. And then we're also given the surface area of A, which we're told is 12 centimetres squared. Now we're given these ratio of volumes so we could find the scale factor of volume. That's how we dealt with previous kind of problems of this nature. And the scale factor volume, we can just divide these two numbers. How many times bigger is 27 than 8? We do 27 divided by 8. I mean, we can just leave it as 27 over 8, to be honest, rather than give it as a decimal. And then to remember, if we had the scale factor volume, it was quite difficult to go directly to the scale factor of surface area, but we could first find the scale factor of length, for example, height. And remember, what we did is we took the scale factor volume and cube rooted it. So we did the cube root of 27 over 8. Now, conveniently, 27 and 8 are both cube numbers, so when you cube root 27, you get 3. When you cube root 8, you get 2. So scale factor of length, which might be height, for example, is 3 over 2, or 1.5. Now, if we've got the scale factor of length, we can find the scale factor of area, for example, surface area, by squaring that scale factor of length. So if we do the 3 over 2 squared, then we square the 3 is 9, square the 2 is 4. So the advantage of leaving the scale factor volume in uh, fractional form is that it makes it easier to cube root it and, to then, and then to square it. So this scale factor volume was 27 over 8, and we worked out the scale factor of area, such as surface area, was 9 over 4. So the surface area of B is 9 over 4 times bigger than the surface area of A. So we just need to times the 12 by the 9 over 4. So the surface area of B is just the 12 multiplied by the 9 over 4. And that gives us 27, and let's put the correct unit, centimetres squared. And that is the final answer.